here, and today we are going to be looking at the Artsy, otherwise known as Plushcraft Fabric by Number Patchmaker. So I am super excited to take a look at this. It says that what we need to do is just pop in the plush, and it will make six trendy patches that you can actually wear. So that is really cool, and this toy is for ages seven and up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the box. So here is what the back of the box looks like. It gives us a list of everything that we get inside. So let's go ahead and open it up. So the first thing that you get in the box is your work pad. So this is what it looks like. We have the work pad lid right here. This is the purple piece. And on the lid we have a spot for our stylus. You can open that up and you will see that we have a foam work pad right here that is already inserted and they do give us a bonus work pad. I'm not sure if we're going to need this, but we do have a bonus one just in case. And then you can see right here on the sides we have some work pad guides and the blue piece is the actual work pad. Next we have the patch stickers. So we have some different characters here. We have a dolphin a panda, a dog, a cat, a heart, and a butterfly. And as you can see on the stickers, we have some numbers here. And those are where we are going to be pushing the fabric through and we're gonna follow the numbers to know which color. So that is really cool. We also have these shape stickers. So I know they're a little bit hard to see. Basically what these are, they are the exact same shapes that we were just looking at except there's no color to these pieces. So we have the dolphin again, we have the panda, the dog, the cat, the heart, and the butterfly. Next we have our stick-on jewels, our fabric pieces, a roller, and our instructions. So the first thing that we are going to need to do is choose our patch sticker. And I'm going to choose one that doesn't have eyes to start with. We're going to do two of these. So these two right here don't have eyes and I think I'm going to do the butterfly. Next we're going to lift the lid off of the work pad like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to peel off the back of this sticker. Now we're going to take the sticker and we're going to place it on the work pad and we're just going to line it up with the little notches on the sides. So you see this little blue strip here? That's where this little top piece is going to go. So we're going to place that on the blue strip and then slide it down. Okay, press it down and we're going to want to make sure that we press this part down really hard. And we're just going to smooth down the patch using the roller. And again, we can press down really hard. Now what we're going to do is we're going to close the lid. So now we can start punching in the fabric. And you can see that these little white circles are where we're going to push each piece of fabric in. And they also have little numbers in them like two, ones, sevens, eights, fours, and so on. And to figure out which of the colors goes to those numbers, we have a number legend right here inside the instructions and it's also on the back of the box. So let's go ahead and get our fabric. So now what we're going to do is we are going to get our piece of fabric. So this is a purpley pink color. This is number two. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the soft side facing up. The other side is rough. That will be facing down. And we're just going to move it over top of the number that we want to punch. So I'm going to place it here and punch it into the hole. Just like that. And we're just going to fill out this entire butterfly. Thank you. 
So here's what it looks like when we have finished. Now what we're going to do is we are going to get the matching shape sticker and we're going to peel off the back like this, starting from the middle. Just like that. Then we're going to lift the lid and we're going to peel off the patch sticker. But we're not going to take it all the way off. So that looks really cool. Look at the back of this. That looks really, really awesome. We're going to stop right there. Now we're going to place this piece underneath. Like that, just matching it up. And then we're going to lay it back down. Then we're going to remove the whole thing from the work pad. And set it down. And then we're going to get our roller and we're going to roll it. And then we're going to turn it over and roll the back as well. We're going to turn it over again and then we're just going to punch out the whole thing. And here is what our finished patch looks like. So that looks really cool. Now all we need to do is pinch around the edges. And then we're just going to roll the whole thing again. And on the front again. So here's what it looks like when it's finished and it is ready to be used. And you will need a parent's help, of course, when you go to put your patch onto your clothes or your backpack or whatever it is you want to put it on. All you would do is just peel off this white piece on the back and you can kind of see it's got like this glue material here. You place it onto your piece of clothing or whatever you want to put it on. Roll it on top after you've taken off the white piece and then you just iron over it. And that is really, really cool. So I'm going to save this for when I want to make my patch. But I'm going to go ahead and make one more. So we're going to make one more and I'm going to do the cat for this one because the cat is going to have the adhesive eyes as well as the nose. So again, we're just going to lift up the lid peel off our sticker line it up place it down make sure that you press it on especially on this back part really really hard and roll it out now what we're going to do is we're going to get our adhesive gems and our cat is going to need this little heart nose, which we're going to place right here in the center. As well as the eyes. And then I'm just going to fill out the cat just like I did with the butterfly. So here is the finished cat. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the matching sticker. And again, we're going to peel these off. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to peel this. up to about here place this one underneath match it up press it down use the roller to make sure it's pressed on real good pull it off roll it out some more on the front Punch it out. Make sure that you pinch all the corners together. Roll it some more. And here is your finished patch. So here are what the two finished patches look like and I think they came out really nice. Now of course you can iron these onto your jacket or your pants or any other denim thing that you might have. But I actually kind of like them just like this um, because they're kind of like little stickers now, which I think is really cool. So I have a binder here that I stick all the fan mail that you guys have ever sent me. And I think that these would work really well as stickers. So I'm going to peel off the backs and they look really cool from behind as well. I'm going to use them as decorative like stickers. So I'm going to place one here, like that, 
and another one right here. And that is really cool and they're sticking on there really well. All right, you guys, so what did you think of the Artsy Patch Maker? I think that these patches are really, really cool. I think I'd rather use them as stickers. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of patches, and then you grow out of your clothes and your patches are gone, but this way I can keep my little patches forever by just using them as stickers. And I think that they came out really, really nice. They are super, super cute. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and if you guys like this video don't forget to like subscribe comment and stay tuned for more artsy videos Come back tomorrow for a new video, and if you like the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media, and as always, thanks for watching.